I get very happy this time of year because spring is coming. And one way that I know for sure is the Fifth Third Bank Cincinnati Home and Garden Show is upon us. It's two weekends. This one and next. Julianne Gardner, owner of One Small Garden, is with us. Great name, by the way. Could you How imagine? Did, did you know well, I must be a gardener since, well, and I, I obviously you're more than a gardener, but what a great name. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. And you have put together quite a display here. Tell us about this. Well, through the course of my own career doing container gardening, I came up with what I think is the best container to grow vegetables in. Um, it's beautiful. This is your container. You created this. This is a red cedar that grows right here in the Ohio River Valley. It's perfect. perfect. It's uh, milled right here in the Ohio River Valley and this is a design that was collaborated right here in the River City. Okay, so you create this, then you know, is it too early for us to get started? Because I've already started some seeds inside. You know, but, there's cold weather seeds yeah. and that would be your spinach, which is what we have right here. Here, uh, there's also uh, this snack beautiful? beans. Doesn't this make you so happy to see this? You're welcome to bite and eat. Oh, oh okay, I will. <laughs> so the show is always a fabulous one. This is spinach, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take that. Um, the show is this weekend and next, and you have a booth there, And but there's so many exhibits, all kinds of stuff going on. Tell us what you have seen so far that's really exciting you. Well, um, I think mostly it's to bring something to the home and garden attendance to say this is something you can take home today. This is something that you can begin this next two, two weeks. You can plant your snap peas, which will work up a trellis, and really create something at your home that becomes um, an asset, edible, and a learning tool for your children. And for handicap or, or perhaps uh, folks that have a hard time bending over, something Very as tight. simple as this. You know, it goes right on a deck. It goes right on a terrace. And you don't have to just do something as big as this. You could do something small like this, right? Yes. I think the emphasis for me is that I want a container that I consider edible and safe. And that's where we are with cedar. It's rot resistant. It's enduring. The value in purchasing red cedar goes on and on for gardening over and over over, especially for edibles. The greatest thing about the Home Garden Show is that you get ex inspired. I know I do every time I go, and I love it. You can go down. You'll be there both weekends, right? Yes, booth 231. 231. Go check her out. It's at the Duke Energy Center and all the other booths down there as well. It's downtown at the Duke Energy Center tomorrow through Sunday, March 6th, and then it's closed Monday and Tuesday. Tickets are available at the Duke Energy box office, so I think it is all through the week besides Monday and Tuesday as well. Sorry if I got that wrong. If you want show times and ticket information, just go to WCPO.com. Thank you, Julianne. This is Thank lovely, you. and I appreciate you coming in.